Tyler Shelton with Smart Austin Realty, and I'm here at one of Austin's most beautiful spots. We are at the Zilker Botanical Gardens, and today we're gonna to be sitting down with Cindy and Jeff, two of the people that help run this beautiful sprawling oasis that's situated right here in the center of the city. So I wanna introduce you guys to Dr. Sydney Klimmer, uh, a Aggie, and she, go ahead and, and walk us through your title here, but I know that this is kind of, in a lot of ways, your show. And uh, so yeah, please tell us what you do here. Okay, well, first of all, because we're socially distanced and fully vaccinated, I'm gonna take this off so you can understand me a little bit better. So yeah, I'm the uh, garden manager here at the Zilker Botanical Garden. My title is Environmental Conservation Program Manager, which doesn't tell you a whole lot, but basically I manage the Zilker Botanical Garden and the um, Austin Community Gardens Program here at the city of Austin. And my background is public horticulture, so it was just a perfect fit. Very cool. Um, looks like you guys have done a great job out here. I guess the first thing I want to ask you um, is, if you don't mind just kind of walking us through a little bit of the history of this place. Sure. It is, I'm, I'm so lucky to be here. It is just such a beautiful oasis right in the heart of, of Austin, but it's really a well-kept secret. So we're hoping you can help dispel that secret a little bit. Um, the garden was started back in the 60s by a few garden clubs with some really dedicated members who went to the parks director and said that they needed a place to have their meetings and, and flower shows and things. So the garden was, the, the property for the garden was set aside and it's really been that ever since. Uh, it's 29 acres and there are flower shows and plant club sales, all sorts of things that the, the garden club tradition has stayed with us here. And then slowly over time, different specialty gardens were developed. And that includes the Taniguchi Japanese Garden, the Hartman Prehistoric Garden. Right now we're standing on this beautiful trail of passages that was built in the 80s to create a um, accessible route down into the core of the garden. And then we're overlooking the rose garden and newer herb garden here. And there's several more. Wow, um, that's really fantastic. Just to give our viewers some context, we're 29 acres, but downtown Austin is, is literally that way. So we are in the middle of you know the metropolitan area of the city. But yet, I mean, you would walk in here and you would you would think you're in a forest. I want to bring in um, your cohort here and introduce him as well. So we're here with Jeff Pavlot. He's on the board of directors here at the Zilker Botanical Garden. And I uh, wanted to ask him a question. From what I understand about this place is it's a partnership between city parkland and a group of donators, a conservancy. So why don't you walk us through how that partnership works? Sure. Um, so uh, what we have is a pu public-private partnership between the city of Austin and uh, the Zilker Botanical Garden Conservancy. And uh, what the Conservancy does is we work to help enhance and uh, fund uh, improvements uh, here at the garden. Very cool. I think that's just an excellent example of some of the amazing things that can happen when the private sector and, and public sector come together to make such a beautiful place. So Jeff, um, I have tons of clients that are new to the Austin area and they want to see these iconic Austin things. Austin has a reputation for being nature centric and that's one of the appeals for a lot of the people that we help move to town. Um, so tell us how they can come here and visit. What does admissions look like? Um, we're standing right in front of the Butler what is this? The, but the Butler window. The Butler window. And uh, tell us how the general public can come visit. All right, sure. Um, so right now, because of COVID, uh, we uh, have uh, limited a number that are allowed in per hour and our ticketing is online only. So you need to go to our website, which is zilkergarden.org. And uh, there you can uh, get your tickets. Uh, and also, if you're interested in coming uh, anytime all year, you can also you know, look at becoming a member. Oh, um, very cool. So a membership gets you unlimited admission here to the park. It does to uh, to the garden here, as well as uh, over 300 other gardens around the country. Wow. And do the proceeds of that membership directly uh, benefit the Austin Botanical they Gardens? Do. As it goes to it a does. donation fund of some kind for them? Yes. Fantastic. Well, uh, that's that sounds great. What a place to explore. So I'm standing here in the north wing of the garden, and I just want to take a second to marvel at how beautiful this place really is. We're right here in the Rose Garden. This is the Butler window. So we are in what has to be one of the marquee exhibits of this garden. We're in the Taniguchi Japanese Garden. And um, I understand there's a really cool story behind um, the person that designed this. And maybe you could walk us through that. Sure, it is a, a beautiful and iconic story. 
and so relevant for the times we're living in today across the world. Um, the garden was built over a period of about 18 months to two years by Mr. Isamu Taniguchi, who was held in a Japanese internment camp during World War II um, in, here in Texas. And then following that, his family moved here to Austin and he was a, a, had a wonderful career here and wanted to do something as a retirement project, as a symbol of peace and to show his gratitude and thanks to the city of Austin that he loved so much. Wow, that's very touching and triumphant. And you can tell just by walking through with the waterfall and, and, and the pond and the riparian side of this, that this person was extremely masterful in his craft and what a talented and gifted um, gardener and artist that brought such a beautiful offering of gratitude to the city after a difficult time. And you can see the moon bridge right here. There's many, many, many photos and portraits taken there. It's just a beautiful symbol. And his family continues to be involved. His grandson, Evan Taniguchi, is an architect here in Austin and continues to be actively involved in supporting and, and fostering the garden today. That's fantastic. I love that. What a testament of the human spirit. So I'm here with Jeff in the Hartman Prehistoric Garden. It's another wing of the overall Zilker Botanical Gardens. Um, very cool spot from what I understand. It's plants from the dinosaur age. Yeah, all, all of the plants, they are from the time of the dinosaurs. Very cool. So uh, while I got you, I'd love to hear about some of the events that are happening here. Some of the things that families can come out and do or just regular Austinites can come out to do to enjoy this space to the fullest. All right, sure. Uh, we have several things. Uh, now we just finished up our uh, uh, summer music series, but we have another uh, that'll be music in the garden starting in November. And then we also have yoga that will be, we'll be starting that in the garden in October. And uh, then coming up, there is the Roots and Wings Festival, which is a celebration of Monarch Day and Arbor Day. And it will kick off on, the, on October 24th. And it, uh, it is, uh, it's in the afternoon on a Sunday and there'll be more details on the website, uh, but it's a very family friendly, socially distanced uh, event. Too cool. Sounds like there's a lot happening here. Definitely a place to keep on your radar in the coming months. Thank you so much for tuning in to us as we gave you a tour of this beautiful, sprawling, lush garden, the Austin Botanical Gardens here in Zilker Park in the heart of downtown Austin. Um, keep in mind this place is stroller friendly for large chunks of it. Um, also, a lot of it um, is accessible to people that are mobility impaired. Just call ahead um, in advance to make sure which exhibits and parts are indeed accessible. Here at Smart Austin Realty, we love to show our clients uh, some of Austin's best kept secrets. We love to help people buy and sell real estate, and we really enjoy taking you through some of these iconic, sometimes secretive spots here in the Austin area. So we just wanted to give a big thanks to Jeff and Cindy for walking us through this place, and thank you guys so much for tuning in.